Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be breaking down Xping, what it's been doing the last couple of days, where I think it's heading, and what's next for it. Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Your support is truly appreciated. And I also have a free Discord server. Link in the description below if you need help during market open, whatever time it may be. We're super, super active. If you need help, just hop in here and ask me any type of question you need to. Now, let's get right into the video, and let's talk about Xping. So what's been happening the last couple of days of Xping? I missed the upload on Xping yesterday. I'm sorry about that. I got busy, so I could only upload one video. But now I'm making this Xping video for you guys. So thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for waiting. So Xping, let's go over what it did yesterday. So yesterday, it tried to push up. And I talked about this level right here, this 5125, 5130 level. This was an important level that it needed to hold. Now, on Wednesday, it held that level. So on Thursday... That's when we try to push up and we got the breakdown. Now, once we got below this, then you could have predicted that this was going to be bearish because we were unable to hold the support level. Now, the last part of the day, we tried to push right back up, but what happened? We were unsuccessful and we just basically plummeted. Now, what's happening today? Same thing. We're plummeting. Now, I wouldn't say this is bearish. I wouldn't say that at all. And the reason for that being is because we had this massive push up and we're just slowly uh, just pulling back, right? Now, I would say, though, it really does need to get above $48 and close above that. I'm saying that because it was a strong support right here. Notice how many times we held this level right here and right here. And then previously, y'all have been watching this, it was a strong, strong resistance. We got rejected several, several times before. So if we get underneath this, we know that there are a lot of sellers here and that it could possibly, possibly cause it to continue to fall down. Now, I know we still got, you know, about three hours left to market closes. So we still got some time. We got three hours left. Keep in mind, Monday, we're closed. So pretty much... If you need to do anything, if you need to close your position, if you need to add more, today is the day since Monday is closed. Now, what's my whole outlook for the rest of the day? So what I really want XPing to do is it needs to start reversing. So it needs to come back up and get above 4806. If we're able to get back above 4806, I'll feel a lot more comfortable going into the weekend session. We have a long weekend, so I'll feel a lot more comfortable if we can get back above. Now, where I'll start to, you know, not panic, I'm not going to panic, but I'll start to be looking at Xping is if we still stay underneath this. That's when I'll be questioning, hey, is this just, you know, a dip from this huge rally we had? Or is this something more where we're going to pull back again down to this 43 area? Now, that's something a lot of you, we all don't want to see. We don't want to see it get that huge pullback. So if you're watching Xping, the number you need to remember is 4806. That's the number that we need to get above and close above it. Like I said, there's still plenty of time left on the clock. We still got a lot of time for us to get back above that. So let's go down to the one hour time frame and let's look at actually the whole story of what's been happening. So basically, this morning we just gapped down. We gapped into this red. We tried to push up, couldn't. And look, this is why I was telling you guys that this was a strong resistance. Look how many times that we tried to push up to this. We tried to push up it on this hour right here, and then we were unable to continue that momentum. We got rejected, and now we're still holding this little intraday support right at 47.40. It's holding. It really is. It's trying. So if we're going to be bullish, we need to get above this 48.06 area. I know I keep repeating it, but that's why it's so important because we got rejected right here on the hourly. Look at that. We got rejected, came down, and now we're trying to find buyers. So if we get above that, then on Tuesday, then we can start heading back up to this resistance and hopefully getting above. So like I said, the resistance is at 5130. Need to get above that and hold above it. We got rejected the past couple of days. We fell down and now we're struggling. 4806 is that magic number we need to get above. And once we start getting above that, if we close above that, I'll feel a lot more comfortable going into the weekend. Um, if we don't, then I hate to say it, but we may be coming back down to this range right here. But we're still in this awkward little spot where we're not selling off a lot, right? We are getting that sell off underneath the support, but it's not a huge amount. It's not like over here when we pushed up and we saw that aggressive candle. It's not like that at all. It's just a little bit of a sell off. So that's why I'm saying it's in this awkward spot right now where if we do stay underneath here, 
I still wouldn't be too concerned until I'd give it all the room in the world until this wick right here. So 46.52. If we get below 46.52 today, then yes, probably on Tuesday we are heading to 43.75, 43.50. That's the area I'd be looking at. But if we stay above this last little wick right here, 46.59 then there's no need to worry. This is just a dip buy, but ultimately it still needs to get above $48. So if you're looking for an entry, maybe once we get back above $48, then you can go in long again. Um, let me know in the comments below, though, if how many shares you have, what's your average, and what's your plan for XP. Love to see you got your guys' you know, position. I like to see what y'all are in and what average you got in. Either way, guys, this was a quick update video. I'm sorry I missed yesterday. Um, like I said, I got busy. Either way, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my XP videos and my Neo videos. Appreciate all the support, and I'll see you all in the next video.